you guys. So we today are at the Rose Bowl flea market. We have heard about this. You heard about it from your hairstylist, right? Oh yeah. And I've yeah. seen people post about it all the time. And so we actually had a different plan of what we were gonna do today for our second location. If you guys missed our first video we filmed together, I'll link both of those down below. But we we kind of changed the plan and decided like, okay, let's try this instead. And we're both so excited about it. It looks massive. Insane. Yeah. Here they have over 2,500 vendors. So there's everything from like home decor to art to clothing, which is what we're here for. Yeah. We can hopefully find some really good secondhand clothing. So we're excited. Do you have anything you're looking for in particular? T-shirts, okay. uh, just because last time we went thrifting, mm -hmm. I didn't find any t-shirts. No t-shirts. So that's like on my mind. Okay. Also, it's usually the least expensive as yes. well. So I don't really have anything particular I'm looking for. I'm kind of open to whatever. Hopefully I will find some good t-shirts as well, like some cute ones that you can like tie up. It'd be cool to find some good vintage jeans here, but that can be hit or miss, especially if you're a size 12. So I don't know, we'll see. I have a very open mind. I'm not expecting anything. Also, we decided we were gonna set we decided we were gonna set a limit for ourselves, a budget for <laughs> those people to like us. We have our cash, we're ready to go. There are people standing behind us, so we're gonna get started. Let's do it. First victim, this booth right here. Here we go. Oh my god, you need it. If you're not taking it, I am, so that's more incentive for you to get it. <laughs> Oops, I just dropped this. The lady told us that everything in the t-shirts is eight to ten dollars. And I can't remember what she said hoodies were, but like that. Much, 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 much more affordable prices than the Rose Trading Post. It's like $25 to $30, so off to a good start. Is it weird that I am so in a phase right now where I'm obsessed with these crew necks that have the collar built in? I think they're so cute. A lot of you guys might disagree, but I think they're perfect. Alexa and I also found this amazing wolf crew neck, but it's too small for both of us and we're so sad. One thing I'm already noticing is there are so, 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 so many windbreakers. That's like definitely, I'm noticing like the trends right now are windbreakers, crew necks, and then like band tees slash wolf slash eagle tees, which is like what we like anyway. <laughs> Red Ram, classic movie. Me. <laughs> this more than I've ever wanted anything in my entire life, but it's literally $30. Uh, and it has like stains on the top, so I don't know if it's worth it, but like it is worth it, so should I get it? Yes, you have to. I'm the worst person to take shopping, because I'm like, yeah, you need it. It's only 45, which honestly, okay, that's, yeah, it's a lot, but for a vintage guess denim jacket, that's pretty good. And you look so cute in it. My denim queen. My denim, denim. <laughs> We just did our first bargain, and it worked! <laughs> Look at this view of these houses up on these hills. Gorgeous. We actually kind of came a little late. I don't know if you can see around me, but like everyone is taking their stuff down. <laughs> but we still got some stuff, and yeah. we're not done yet. I think that this is yeah. more like home decor stuff, so yeah. we're gonna head back to- Because it's to like bigger too, exactly. so it takes longer to take Way home. longer. But we did get a fire AG, so we got that out of the way. We got some things already, and we're gonna go get some more. So we're gonna head back like around to the loop of the clothing we were at before, and hopefully we will have some more luck. Five dollars. <laughs> Hi. 
Hey, cutie. Are you warm in there? Oh my God, you're so cute. We just discovered a whole other lot. <laughs> so now we're gonna go search this. Even though almost everything is closing down, hopefully these people are staying open a little later. Ooh, yes, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Oh God. <laughs> Jail, like it's actual t shirts from jail, I think. <laughs> yes, they're merch. It's their merch. So many of them. Like this whole stack. Really? These all say LA County Jail. They put it in their gift bags <laughs> when they leave. <laughs> when you leave. <laughs> denim, denim, denim. <laughs> Denim, denim, denim. Something I've noticed a lot of here since we've been here is that you can be going through like a rack and you see a ton of these like really trendy things, but then like 50% of them look like that. It's less than $20 I'm getting it, but it probably won't. My king, love of my life, miss you, dad. So I think we're good. Yeah. We, we just got more. Yeah. We, uh, for me, I have to. I go, should we keep going? And she goes, I think I'm cutting myself off. I was like, you know what? Honestly, that's a good idea. So we will show you what we got in the car. So we did it. We survived. Not only did we survive, we no. thrived. <laughs> Such a good experience. We can't wait to go back. We kept saying that. I would say, for the most part, it was significantly less prices yeah. than like other flea markets we've been to in LA. I'm sure if you went to like your local flea market, it might be like a completely different situation, but LA is like a whole different game. I did get quite a few things, so I figured I would show you guys a little haul here. Starting from the beginning, I kind of lost order of like when I got these things, but I'll just kind of like grab and go. The first thing I got, it's stained, I'm not gonna lie, but I think I can get it out. And also it's like not that big of a deal because it's a really old sweatshirt. It's this 49ers giant like 90s sweater. Does it say the year? It doesn't, but honestly, you know it's old. I think this is so fun. You can just wear this with leggings and like Adidas and you have an outfit, like so cute. I love stuff like this that you can throw on. I also pretty much exclusively only wear crew necks around mm. my house. <laughs> And outside. And, and, and obviously everywhere I go. <laughs> so this was $10. Then the shirt that I got as well at that same little stand was just like a basic shirt that says New York, but I actually thought this would be cute with like black jeans or just like with leggings wearing around the house, but you could also dress it up, like put a leather jacket over it. And it just says New York on the front and the back, but it definitely looks like super 90s. And that's like the best thing about these markets is you can find stuff that's not like trying to be that. It's yeah. like literally Wait, from that yeah. era. Also like the prices versus like Urban Outfitters trying to to be 90s yes. versus like the prices here. It's yeah. just like. And we were saying too, when we were, especially at this like clothing stand, these are prices that you would just get at like Savers or yeah. Goodwill. So this is like definitely a huge benefit of going to these places because you can find way trendier stuff, but like for the same prices. Yeah. So then next I got this shirt that I showed you guys at the last booth we were at. It was only 10 bucks. It's way, way, way long. So I think I'm gonna either make it a crop or just like tie it up really tight. But this says red tag. I think that's the Levi's thing. It has the Levi's brand tag on it. So I thought this was cute. I thought it was like a, like a retro looking shirt. I love like mustard yellows and oranges as you guys know. That's like my favorite color palette. So yeah, definitely excited about this one. What's next? Oh, oh, oh. So as you guys saw this Hanson shirt, which isn't in like the best condition, there's definitely signs of use. It was originally $20, or no, I'm sorry, it was originally $30. She gave it to me for 20 or 15, I can't remember which one, but it's Hanson, you guys. The best band of all time. Wanted to marry all three of them. You'll have to let me know in the comments below who was your favorite. Mine was Zach, I was all about the drummer. Now I kind of have like the same hair as him, so. <laughs> Love this, I kind of wish it was short sleeve, but like I'll make it work. I'm so excited about this. I think this is my favorite thing I got. Yeah, it's I really love cool. it. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep in it every mm -hmm. night, just like the old days. <gasps> I'm so excited about this. Ah! And then the last thing I got is a vintage, amazing, authentic, straight from the '90s, maybe the '80s. I don't even know. 
Levi's denim jacket. Now, if you guys have watched <laughs> any of my thrifting videos, especially with Alexa, she and I both have a serious problem with denim jackets 100, specifically. A hundred percent. I don't know anyone who has like a bigger denim jacket addiction than like each other. It's insane. But we both encouraged each other to get these because they're authentic and it's yeah. like you can get these like knockoff ones or you can go to Urban Outfitters and pay like $150. This was only, I think she said it was 35, but she gave it to me for 30 or something like that. Either way, I'm happy about it. It's like a men's size. It's gigantic. I think it's like a size large in men's. It's got the like authentic Levi's tag on it. Yeah, it doesn't say the size, but it is everything. I love the wash of it. Yeah. I love that it's like a much lighter one. I have an old, old, old kind of lighter colored denim jacket that I'm totally gonna like donate or sell because this is like my new baby. I love it. I love the like Levi's like red. It just, you just feel cool, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't care if I'm like a victim to the trends or whatever. I think it's cool. I'm gonna feel really cool in it. There's so many different ways to style it. I kind of want to do like a Justin and Brittany <gasps> denim on denim. I already told my boyfriend that for Halloween. I was like, hey, just so you know, would you do like the denim on denim Justin and Brittany? And he was like, yeah, I'm down for the that. dream. So that is everything I got. If you guys want to see what Alexa got, make sure you go over to her channel because we filmed a video over there as well. Make sure you subscribe to her, send her all the love. Everything's linked down below. If you have any requests for videos that you want us to film together for the next time we get together, because this is definitely going to be a more regular <laughs> thing. I mean, it already is, but like yeah. more regular. Definitely let us know in the comments below. You can like send us thrift stores that you want us to go to in LA or like thrifting ideas. We have a couple in the works. Yeah. But yeah, let us yeah. know. We love you guys so much, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. We did it.